Sound is one of the most important factors in a video game and yet to your surprise it's something that the player has no control over. Music accompanying a piece of gameplay or a cutscene helps communicate ideas being expressed on the screen in a more intimate and often emotional way. When you pass the fog wall to a boss room in Dark Souls, the theme will kick into overdrive and suddenly that dread and fear of dying returns before you've even begun to lose HP. Or in Tetris, when the looped catchy tune begins to change and increase in speed, you're now aware that your reactions need to be quicker. The soundtracks I've picked for this video are ones I find are incredibly overlooked today. I'm Don Critic, and these are five underappreciated video game soundtracks. Call of Duty World at War World at War is an often overlooked game in the popular shooter franchise. It released at an odd point after the World War II days of Call of Duty 2 and 3 and during the online multiplayer days of Modern Warfare. Plus its successor would be retitled to Black Ops. However, skipping over World at War and you'd miss a gritty and gripping World War II narrative. Breathe deeply. Which do you think will lead us home? Writing about this war or fighting it? No one will ever read this! If you lack the stomach to kill for your country, at least show me that you are willing to die for it! In my opinion, World at War's best aspect is its incredible soundtrack, which was composed by Sean Murray. He did a fantastic job bringing together an orchestra and choir that's so powerful when you're playing the game you feel like you could win the war yourself. The track Black Cats, which plays during a plane mission, adds such a fast pace to a setting where you could get shot out the sky at any moment. So while the brave soldiers that fought in the war didn't have booming drums and choirs bellowing from the clouds above. In World at War, it still distills an illusion upon the player that this is a dark, violent period and every moment could be life or death, which was true for the soldiers in the real situations. World at War's OST expresses these emotions to perfection through sound. Ridge Racer On a lighter note, the arcade and PS1 racing game Ridge Racer has a soundtrack which I think is a masterpiece for the genre of game it is. Ridge Racer was developed within just 8 months by Namco and composer Shinji Hoso chose perfectly what style, speed and rhythm each track should have. Now I'm not Japanese so some of the lyrics may make some sense but I adore how crazy and senseless the tracks are. For example, Rotterdam Nation sounds like a high pitched rabbit has been given a job as a DJ. Or Rare Hero which by the way has a fantastic beat that could stand on its own as a pop song. The sheer brilliance of Shinji Hoso melded a feeling of pure speed, fun and energy whilst playing this really aged racing game, but because of the soundtrack alone, it's still worth going back to today. Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time In 2003, the gaming world was treated to Ubisoft's revival of the Persian-inspired franchise with The Sands of Time. Composed by Stuart Chatwood, he did an interesting job with Prince of Persia, mixing elements of rock music with more fantasy and Middle Eastern melodies, achieving this through a dynamic range of Indian instruments and strings matched with alongside a few vocals. What Stuart crafted was the setting of The Sands of Time 
as while most of the prince's journey takes place within the Maharaja's palace, the soundtrack actually displays an illusion that this world of Persia is a lot more richer and dense than the game's levels alone would make you think, and brings a strong magical flavour to each area of the game. Banjo-Kazooie with so many platformers out there with great scores, it took a while to settle on just one for this video, but Banjo-Kazooie, I feel, presents a well-made and playful soundtrack composed by Grant Kirkhope. It's evident in many of the game's tracks, like Overture, that he got major inspiration from old children's nursery rhymes for the rhythm of the beats. However, Banjo-Kazooie's excellence in sound design dives much further, as the game is set within larger worlds, the tracks fade in and out of softer covers when changing area or heading underwater. This creates a subtle sense of scale for the game, all within just the iconic background tracks. Ico. So far, we've had a soundtrack that makes you feel strong enough to engage in war, a soundtrack built to increase speed and energy within the gameplay itself, and even a soundtrack meant to carry the motifs of royalty and legend. But here we get to the opposite. See, Ico is about making you feel completely powerless. You are tiny compared to the vast landscapes that the game's camera often assertively boasts to the player. The game's composer Michiru Oshima delicately pieced together an OST that evokes both mystery and terror of this world and its monsters, but knows that in Aiko's many puzzle portions to slip into a more softer and relaxing tune, because while it is meant to be a scary game from Aiko's perspective, it's also a game about friendship as you hold Yonder's hand all the way throughout your experience. In Ico, it's learnt that the smallest things can have the largest impacts, and the soundtrack exhibits this to a perfect degree. There are plenty of fantastic game scores out there, but these five really stayed with me after playing for more than just they had a catchy main menu theme. The soundtracks here were built around the game's mechanics and themes, and that's what makes them so underappreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video, let me know in the comments below any soundtracks that you think should have made the list, and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome gaming content. I'll see you in the next one, and take care.